The next test we'll do is called the posterior apprehension test. This is checking for laxity of the posterior capsule of the glenohumeral joint. There's numerous ways to do this. You can do this also seated. I think it works better in a supine position. Position the patient on the table so the humerus is just lateral to the table. You'll take the shoulder, bring it up in the plane of the scapula up to approximately 90 degrees. Secure the elbow and you're securing posterior of the scapula. So stabilize posterior of the scapula. Arms at 90 degrees now and you're going to apply an axial load. At the same time, we're going to do horizontal adduction of the shoulder and medial rotation of the shoulder. So stabilizing posterior and I'm going to give an axial load pushing posterior capsule. If it's a positive test, a few things will happen. Patient will have apprehension. They also may complain that it feels like the shoulder will pop out, and this could have occurred with a posterior subluxation or dislocation in the past, inducing the laxity. And also, you may have clicking in some cases with a reverse bank heart lesion. So if there's a labral tear, you may get clicking with this test and potentially pain. So again, internally rotation, medial rotation of the shoulder, horizontal adduction, axial load as you're stabilizing the scapula, and a posterior force, checking for extreme movement and laxity posterior. And this is a posterior apprehension test.